Ouch. I should trap my finger there. <clears throat> so, um, been doing some Guildford street photography recently and unexpectedly, thought of unexpectedly, had an opportunity to go into Guildford on a an un, uh, on a more of an un, sort of an ad hoc visit when it was raining, um, and the only reason I'm sharing this particular um, experience is because whilst I've struggled on some of the sessions recently, where I've been using the Lumix GX7 and the 15mm Panalika lens and I've been struggling a bit with that and it's all been a bit ooh, a bit aggy. I took because it was raining and I knew it was gonna be raining sort of most of the time we were out, I took I decided to take a weather sealed camera. I could have taken the Olympus with me, the um the M1, um, but I decided not to. I decided to take this, which is biggish, I suppose. This um Lumix G80 with the kit lens, which is the 12 to 60. Quite, I think it's quite a slow lens. Uh, yeah, 3.5 to 5.6 G60. G60, G80. Um, so yeah, it's you know, I mean, it is, it is, it's, it's very comfortable, it's very comfortable in the hand very comfortable in the hand and it's quite light it's got a great screen records great footage if you want to do um, movie stuff and yes ergonomically really good good uh, good uh, yeah, twin dials you can use it one-handed quite easily which is quite nice so anyway took the G80 with the kit lens and I think I've got some unexpectedly good results from it really I know using, you know, particularly a kit zoom, a kit zoom on any camera, people tend to, you know, street purists would tend to frown on that, I think. Um, but I think the real benefit with using a camera like this, with a lens like this, is you can, you know, you can kind of forget the settings, you can just... You know, you can just leave the camera at f5.6 if you want to. Um, let the auto ISO do the rest. Um, and it's, uh, yeah, it, just, it just seems to work okay. I mean, it just works. You know, this thing's got obviously a um, fully articulating screen, so you can kind of sit with it down at your waist or in your lap if you're sitting down or whatever and use it. The zoom does come in very handy, I think, for... Um, for those occasions particularly when you can't get close to something, don't want to get close to something, or maybe something has just passed by in front of you, you missed it as it went past in front of you, and it's not necessarily then too late to pick it up if you zoom in a bit. But yeah, those those types of things. But I think the main thing for me, the main lesson for me out of that little session was don't worry about being too purist about the camera and the lens and all that sort of stuff. Forget the settings a bit. Just set the camera up and, you know, get the shots. Um, yeah, and enjoy it. You know, that's the uh, that's the thing, isn't it? Just hunt out what it is you're, um, you're looking for in the street session and um, shoot away and see what you get. But yeah, I was quite, um, I was quite pleased with what I got on, uh, on that particular short session, mostly where I was just kind of waiting outside shops and things like that. So yeah, I was well pleased with that. <laughs>